Welcome to Spouse Antics. On this episode, we move home, we move workshop. It is the end of an era. I've been in this little workshop for t nearly 12 years, running concept pop tops and also running work and spouse antics out of it. Unfortunately, the time has come to move on. My landlady has been giving me some serious issues over the last three years. Our cut was in a one way and every bad thing, a good thing comes out of it. The good thing is that lit a fire under my ass to get out of it. And to do that, I knew I did not want to rent again. I want to find my own workshop. So, as you may know, or noticed over the last two, three years, I have sold a lot of my cars. The red split screen, the truck, the caddy, all gone. All to raise funds for a deposit for my own workshop. And it's happened. So although it's sad to be saying goodbye to this place, the good news is I can say goodbye to my old landlady and get into my own shop. The new workshop is a project, I'm not gonna lie. She's old, uh, it's got quite a bit of history to it and some crazy quirky characters. So uh, I've already started a bit of work on there while I've had this place, been running down my tenancy agreement on here to, and then on the other place, we've kind of been doing a day here and a day there, but life and work's been busy. Uh, so I've not really had a chance to get that much done. Uh, so we'll head over there and I'll show you the plan and what the itch and then we can come along with me. I'm gonna film the workshop build uh, so you guys can kind of come along on that journey. It'll be pretty sweet. Let's head over there and check it out. Check it out. Yes, yes, there is Playboy bunnies on the doors. You're not, you're not misguided there. Here we go. Heading in through the front door. As you can see, it's slightly odd. Uh, coming through the doorway to your right hand side, you have a toilet through there. Forget about the hole and the sink. That's the first room, number one. Then left into the main workshop. That's the world's biggest gas meter. We're getting rid of that. And this all just needs rewiring, modernizing, painting. But this side needs some structural love. So we've got, so this is the second room. As you come down the corridor, here's another room and a giant door. And another door. And another room. And through here, we have a, another toilet and sink. There's the, another crusty front door. The plan is to open everything up and modernize. Well, little update. The stud wall is down. The hole that we punched through to get access, because we bricked up the other side, is being knocked out. And as you can see on this side, it's been bricked up. And then this wall is coming out. And this big chunky steel is going in there. On Monday or Tuesday when the builders get here. Windows turned up. Big chunk of doors turned up. I'll tell you more about the door later. There we go. Here we have Brettles in action. Go on, Brettles. Ah. Don't just tickle him. Love Loves it. So here we are, in the new workshop. There's a lot of building work going on at the moment and we are smashing, bashing and crashing. So I thought I'd talk you around it all really. Uh, this square room, or will be a square room, was actually made up of some corridors and lots of different rooms and we're trying to turn it into one sort of big nice room. Hence, 
that wall's coming down and the rest of that wall's coming down. We've already taken down this stud wall that was sort of here. Uh, it's a big, big sewing room. And then next door will be the workshop. Pretzels, removing the wall. Timber! Just about to get rid of the blue toilet. Sad day. Hey, how's it going? Been a dirty day. We have achieved some serious wall smashing. So all this has come down today. Seriously opened up. Let me talk you through the space. So, this is the front door. Or will be the new front door. You'll come in the front door. You'll look left. This will be a counter with the toilet to the left. And then there'll be a desk over there. Once you've come round the counter, and this, this is getting bricked up, and that alcove will be the kitchen and the sink. And so this will be the desk area. And that over this corner will be the sewing tables and the workbenches. In here is gonna be racking for jobs in, jobs out. And then obviously through here is just the workshop, which we haven't started doing anything yet. That's the plan. Shop update. Beam is in, as you know. We also have the old big door blocked up, window in, little window blocked up, and the new big door in. on we have ceilings so we have put all the ceilings up in the property we have got in this side we went 100 mil sellotex because that had a timber frame roof on the other side 50 mil sellotex that's a double skin roof so it didn't need quite so much and the cavity wasn't quite so big but we are getting there sweet just figuring out a few things of where to go quick experimental wall color you see the dry bit there matte mustard yellow beam going blue back wall sewing area is nearly finished just been plastering that that should be ready soon sad day the bunny rabbits the bunny rabbits are off the doors Time for them to go. But yeah, 
the sewing room slash office and filming workshop space is nearly done. Man, it's taken way longer than I thought. But uh, we're getting there. I've just got to decide what to do with the bathroom. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So here's the bathroom. It's only, it's only teeny. All the tiles are ripped off. It's a right mess. But the tiles I've selected, boom. I think these are the tiles we're gonna go for. A gray with a blue on top. That's the plan anyway. I think that'll work well with the mustard yellows. There's the bunny rabbits. I'm obviously gonna keep them and put them in the wall somewhere because they're rude. The old door's now sealed up externally. Let's have a walk around outside. As you saw, the rubble pile's gone. Now we're just working through all the rubbish. Front doors. Painted to match the front door as well. This door needs to get sealed over. There she is. I've not actually seen in the mirror today. I've just seen the state of my face. As you can see, I've been sanding and painting. I look like I've got mascara on. Anyway, uh, I thought we'd give a quick update. We've been busy, busy, or I could be. So let's have a little sneak peek around the workshop. Well, it's mainly the sewing room and office that's had all the work done, so let's have a look. The table is pretty much complete. I've just whacked another layer of varnish on. That is my pop top and upholstery making table, all buttoned up. Happy days. Obviously the floor's all done, you've seen that. That's just storage and crapido. The mustard yellow wall, boom. That's just a shadow on there, it's not actually two colors. It's more matte mustard, but yeah. Pretty out there, not sure 100% sure about it yet, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, picked up a new door for the bathroom, a little Victorian one. It's gonna look very cool. Inside the bathroom, all the walls, I have been plastering and sanding, the lower half shot it tiled, and the floor, I have just tiled. I had a random bit of wall here, uh, which I wasn't sure what to do with, but I found this old bit of galvanized sign out the front. Got a Z and an E. I just chopped it up and bonded it in there, because it looks cool. There we go. Update. Got electrics all in. Volkswagen sign going up over the bench. Table. Most of the wiring's in. Check out the bathroom. Pow! Desk. Got airline mount to the ceiling, so we're getting there. Let's go through into the workshop. Not so much happening on that side. I have started, this roof in the main workshop has always been a bit too low. So I'm now starting to lift the roof, which is being a bit of a ball ache. These red beams, cross beams, I'm basically lifting them up the wall plates. So you see that one I've already lifted. That one's already lifted up. I'm going up about 40 mil, lifting 45 mil. Doesn't sound a lot, but it's gonna make quite a big difference. I'm using luggage straps round the beams to pull them up to where I need them to be. And then I'm drilling into the walls and resining threaded bolts in and then bolting them up. Roof lifting, brutal. <sighs> Getting there. First two sections are done. Third section is pretty much done. That bit to go, that bit to go. Oh my God, look at the state of me. We've been using the Volvo as a mobile, as a uh, cherry picker.
Yo ho, how's it going? Chris, this did an amazing job painting the workshop. Link below. Spray paint that makes me paint and it looks rude. I've just carried on with some wiring. I've put in new LED lights. And I've also finished the wiring on the side of the walls, which I'll quickly flip around and show you. Tidied that all up uh, with help from Voisky's electrician, the local guy, really good. Link below. Uh, let's show you. So that's all tidied up now into that tracking system. Still a few little odds and ends to just finish up and tidy up, but it's so much neater in the tracking. And then all the rest of the plug sockets that were stringed around have all been removed. We didn't need all that. It was an engineer's firm before, we didn't need that, so. Look at that, boom. Starting to get a real feel for the space now. So, nice to pick up scaffold planks. Ready to start the cladding. The vents in, looking very cool. The workshop is looking pretty sweet now. Just been doing some filming on the Volvo. If you haven't seen the latest episode of Drag Race in the Volvo, check it out. Or it might not be up yet, the way it's in. But there we go. Pretty much done as it's going to be. That's it for this episode of Spouse Antics and the big workshop move. It has taken ages. It's been an absolute shit ton of work, uh, but it's worth it. This place is going to be an amazing spot to uh, run my business and also do Spouse Antics tinkering in the corner. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. There's an episode on the Volvo drag racing coming up soon, maybe next week. That was good fun. Ups and downs. There we go, as it always is. Uh, there'll probably be another little update on the workshop as well. Things left to do are the floor. Big job to do it properly. Uh, and we're out of time and money, as always. Can't have it all. Got to get back working and make it some moolah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy. See you later. Yeah.